residents of Meduguri, the Bono state capital, have expressed doubts over the alleged killing of Boko Haram leader Abuba Kashikawu, saying they would need proof of facts regarding the claims that Shikawu was actually killed or killed himself with others during a clash with Islamic State of West African province. This swap has been reported. According to residents who spoke with Daily Post in Meduguri, Shikawu had remained a ghost as he had been reported reportedly killed several times. Soldiers had claimed they killed Shikawu. They even showed his picture tied to a tree when he was captured in Konduga and subsequently killed. But, late, but days later, Shikawu was alive and healthy. He even went ahead to attack and sack many villages, made videos about it and warned those claiming to have killed him. Hmm. Now, the story is coming back again, just as it was told before. My take is that proof is what we need to believe because we have since become doubting Thomases here. Lalitu Usman, a resident of a Bulub Kutu in Meduguri, told Daily Post. Boko Haram spiritual leader Abubakar IBN Al Shakawi, also known as Shikawu, is dead. Perhaps this is the sixth time he will be pronounced dead, only to resurface again. He was killed in Dikwa, Bama, Kukawa, Mate, Dambua, Konduga, and the latest about him was that he killed himself and others when he chose to become a human bomb. For me, these are stories we need proofs, Muhammad Sani said. On May 19, 2021, on Wednesday at about 4 p.m., the news began to filter about Shikawu's death. However, no one could rush into reporting such news given the background that he, was, he has been said to have died many times even with a proof of death and how he was killed. This is also the question on the lips of people and residents within Meduguri and other, and the last claim on Wednesday, said Ahmed Shewu, a journalist. The military authorities are yet to make or release statements to the effect. Daily Post gather that the security operatives are still gathering information about the claims, which has been reported in several newspapers. I do not think there is need. There is the need to conclude on this yet. At the appropriate time, it shall be made known. If they said Boko Haram and Iswa fighters fought in the Sambisa uh, forest, we may ask where in the uh, Sambisa forest, because our military is everywhere in the Sambisa forest. Our air force have been hovering around the Sambisa forest. They should be able to communicate with, communicate what they saw happening on ground. How did the message uh, come about? These are questions we should begin to ask ourselves. I am not denying that all this could happen, but it's, but I still have some reservations, Dr. Issa Maman said. According to uh, Don, the atmosphere in Meduguri remains the same. Whether Abubakar Shikawu is dead or still alive, he said Bono State and indeed not East Nigeria has been at war since 2009 when Muhammad Yusuf was killed. It was the controversy surrounding Muhammad Yusuf's death that gave birth to Abuba Kashikawu and what makes people think that the same controversy surrounding the death of Abuba Kashikawu, if indeed he died, will bring peace to Bono or Yobe State. The reports are saying he blew himself and killed other top commanders of Iswap. If that is what is actually, if that, what, that was what really happened, it means more disaster hmm, because there is going to be more fighting among his commanders and a revenge mission against the ISWAP will follow and that means more conflicts for Bono and the Northeast, he added. Daily Post gathered that Abu Abamawi, the son of Muhammad Yusuf, who escaped execution in the hands of Shikawu, fled Sambisa Forest in 2016 and had swore allegiance to ISIS. He was then anointed by ISIS to lead the ISWAP as a fraction, fraction of the ISIS terror group operating in West Africa. With the international connection from the Islamic State, Iswap grew up, grew in power and might, but internal wrangling led to the temporary intervention by ISIS where Abu Abanawa was asked to step aside.
his loyalty and obedience to the leadership and cause of Isis opened the way for him to be reinstated as the new leader. A source with access to the group revealed. Also, Abu Abanawi knows the modus operandi of the Boko Haram function under Sheikhau's leadership and still commands respect among top commanders within the ranks who are still Sheikhau's lieutenants. According to a source, clashes between Iswap fighters and Boko Haram terrorists in Abadam last year over some of the wives of terrorist commanders abducted by Iswap fighters during a raid sparked the new and ugly relationship between the two terror groups. Although ISIS had long made several attempts, they have made several attempts to win over Shikau. They were also not comfortable with his operations. They believe some of his doctrines are un Islamic because they claim he had derailed in many ways, and so they actually wanted to take leadership from him. Shikau understood their antics and would not give in to their deceptive approaches. They tried to use some of his commanders who were lured into believing that believing them, but Shikawu does not take chances and at the slightest doubt he executes some of his commanders romancing with Iswap. The fight between the two terror groups in Abadam, sometimes last year over women belonging to the militants on the Boko Haram faction side, opened a new opportunity for ISIS to cash in and plant the detriment of Shikawu. This was also the reason behind ISIS's decision to bring back Abu Abanawi, having been very close to Shikawu in the past and understands his mode of operations. Some say Abanawi is also good at sniffing with accuracy of knowing the bearing around Sambisa forest. He source with information about the terror group told Daily Post in Meduguri, but residents have remained doubtful and await proof of Shikawu's death. Honestly, when I begin to hear all this uh, faction, this faction, that, and see the way how coordinated they are inside a democratically uh, a country or a sovereign country, under a sovereign country, but the government will leave all of those ones, they will be pursuing those who are harmless. You see, see the, the way these guys are really operating, and yes, nobody, they are not even paying much, much attention to that. And that is why the go the country is mourning today because of all this nonsense. The country is mourning seriously today. And those who are politicians, those who are at the end of affairs, they are behaving as if nothing is happening. You see how coordinated these people are in a sovereign country. But they will leave that and begin to chase them. They can go, this are, these are the ones that are family embassy or for. You can imagine. And again, because of this, uh, how many times Shekau has been reportedly killed. These people don't want to believe that.